Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to discuss about gas carrier types based on what? Based on cargo carried and carriage conditions. So first one is the fully pressurized ships. So fully pressurized ships are the simplest one and it has type C tanks which are made up of carbon steel and uh, it can uh, it has a typical design pressure or you can say pressure of these tanks are 18 bar. So these types of ships do not require thermal insulation or reliquification plant because the because of the pressure design tanks becomes very heavy the these ships tanks are very heavy therefore these ships are of small size of uh, 4000 to 6000 meter cubes and these ships carry mainly what mainly lpg and ammonia and there is no secondary barrier in these types ships because uh, the tanks are type c no secondary barrier then we have semi pressurized tanks so in semi pressurized ships it, they are uh, similar to fully pressurized they also have type c tanks okay type c tanks if they have type c tanks therefore no secondary barrier and the maximum working pressure is 5 to 6 bars in uh, fully pressurized we have 18 bars here we have 5 to 6 bars it can carry cargoes lpg vinyl chloride butadiene and no secondary barrier okay no secondary barrier because type c tank then we have ethylene ships. These are specialized ships which are uh, constructed to carry what? Ethylene. They are uh, built for specific trades. Okay. The capacity is 1000 to 12000 meter cubes. Then uh, we have ethylene. Ethylene is carried in fully refrigerated condition at, at its atmospheric boiling point of minus 104 degrees centigrade. So, ethylene is carried in fully refrigerated condition at its atmospheric boiling point of minus 140 degree, minus 1, what, minus 104 degree, 104 degree centigrade. So, this is very important and you need to remember it. So, in this type of safety, we also have type C tank. Type C tanks means no secondary barrier. Thermal insulation and high, re high capacity reliquification plants are fitted. So, in a previous uh, fully pressurized and semi pressurized, we don't have thermal insulation and uh, reliquification plant. The these types of ships have complete double hull, but why? Because uh, all the cargo which is carried below minus fifty five degrees centigrade should have a complete double hull. So these types of ships have complete double hull. Then we have fully refrigerated LPG ships. So these types of uh, ships uh, carry cargo at their atmospheric pressure or uh, these types of ships carry cargoes at atmospheric pressure. Then uh, what type of cargoes uh, these carry? These carry large quantities of LPG and ammonia in large quantities. They have uh, four different types of containment system. First one is independent tank with single hull but double bottom and hopper tank. Then we have independent tank with double hull. Then we have integral tanks and then we have semi-membrane tanks. These types of ships also require thermal insulation and reliquification plant. These types of ships have type A tanks. Type A means secondary barrier is required. Temperature of about minus 48 degrees centigrade and pressure is 0 0.7 bar. Then we have my favorite LNG ships. But I don't want to work here. So these types of uh, ships carry specialized gas carriers. These are specialized gas carriers and they carry LNG at its Atmospheric boiling point of minus 162 degrees centigrade. So this is very important. You need to remember it. Minus 162 degrees centigrade. So the cargo capacity is very large. 125000 to 135000 meter cube capacity. There are four different types of containment system. First is a gas transport membrane. Technic gas membrane. So these are membrane types. Then we have MOS spherical. That is type B tanks. And prismatic type. LNG ships uh, uses its cargo boil of gas as fuel. So the gas which is boiled up from the cargo is used as fuel. So this much is important from the topic of uh, gas carrier types based on cargo carried and carriage conditions. So this much is important with this topic and uh, hope you liked it. Thank you.